favorite. Yeah, Miss Lane, that's a great story. One of the best. Well, you know, Jimmy, you two pictures are worth a thousand words when I write the story, but in this case, congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. And there's Mr. Kemp. Bet you he wishes he'd been around when it all happened. Clark, he's never around when Superman here. Poor guy. Did Jimmy, you got me in trouble now. So long, a big mistake. Next time, don't do that to me. How are you today? Oh, I'm just super, thanks. Morning, Mr. White. I'm super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Morning, 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 morning. You're late, Ken. I, I know, I'm sorry, Mr. White. I uh, um, got st stuck in traffic. Oh, that's no one. Excuse me? I mean, as opposed to uh, I was stuck in a phone booth or I got locked into the men's bathroom or something like no, that. What know? are you talking about? I'm, I'm sorry that I was You late. two want a bigger. That's great. I have just the assignment for you. You're going to pose as a honeymoon couple in Niagara Falls to get an expose on the newlywed racket. Some of those hotels up there are bilking those poor kids for every cent they can get. Real human interest stuff. Make your Aunt Hattie cry her eyes out. Um... N newlyweds? That I'm... is a great idea, Mr. White. Excuse me, Mr. White. I'm sorry, but I'm right in the middle of a series on the city council. I mean, it I... wouldn't take long. We could just fly right up there and zoom back down again. You know? Like Superman. <laughs> yeah. If he'd give you two a ride, maybe we could save a couple of bucks. I gotta see young Olson. Six lousy photographs, and that kid's hitting me up for a raise already. Uh, excuse me, Mr. White. Can I talk Darn. for a second, sir? Mr. White. Darn. Well, my goodness, you certainly look like the cat who swallowed the canary this morning. A canary? No, uh, actually, I was thinking of something bigger, something that flies, something more in blue. Um, Lois, as usual, I'm uh, totally in the dark. Well, let me just turn about. on the lights for you, then. Get the picture? Hmm. You know, I didn't start to put this together until this morning, which is really strange, because a good reporter isn't supposed to let anything slip by her. Hmm. Well, that's, um... Very amusing. Uh, excuse me. Yes, sir. Amusing. <laughs> yes, sir. That's uh, that's very amusing. Amusing, huh? huh. Tall, mm -hmm. broad shoulders, dark hair. <laughs> Gotta give you credit. You really had me fooled. And I'm nobody's fool. Superman. S S Superman. <laughs> you mean you think I'm Superman? <laughs> Willing to bet my life on <laughs> Lois, you know, you are priceless. Really. I mean, that is the single most ridiculous thing I've ever... Lois, what are you doing? You wouldn't let me die, Superman. Oh, that's all right. I just didn't hear you knock that. Lois, 
<laughs> for, for goodness sake, the door wasn't even locked. I mean, just, just anybody can walk in here. There you go, putting yourself down again, Clark. Oh, very funny. No, really, I'm serious. Oh. Well, anyway, <laughs> here. A little, uh, little something for the newlyweds' dinner tonight. Pansies. Mm -hmm. Clark, how, how different. Oh, well, would you believe they grow wild all around here? Mm-hmm. Boy, you should see what they're charging for roses at that gift shop. I'll bet, huh? Hmm. Um, you know something, Lois? What? Well, you know, in spite of the, 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 the unreality of, of all of this, well, you know, posing as newlyweds for the sake of a newspaper story, well, in spite of myself even, I'm kind of starting to feel like one in a way. A newlywed? You? Um, I don't see why that should be so strange. Oh, I'm sorry, Clark, really, I didn't mean that. I mean, I'm sure there's thousands of girls who... Well, a few girls, anyway. Well, go ahead and say it. Say what? That, somehow, you're not satisfied being here with me. Hmm? That in some way I, I don't seem to uh, shape up very well in your eyes. Well, darn it, I don't have anything to apologize for. I'm a good reporter. No, I'm, I'm a very good reporter. And an even better friend to you. Stand up. Stand up? Yeah, stand up, just for fun. Now, come here, look at what? yourself. Just look at yourself. Oh. What we have here is a potentially aggressive dynamite guy who can do anything he wants. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault you keep putting yourself down. Oh, yeah? How? Well, for starters, look, you slouch all the time. Yeah. Here, stand up straight. There, oh. that's better. And get yourself a jacket with a van and some shoes that don't lace up and a shirt with a little Lois. color or pattern or something and a bow tie that doesn't look like a letter opener. All right, Lois. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, now we, we've been all through this before, haven't we? Yes. Hmm? But, I, mean, I, I, I know where this is all leading to. Um, and I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. But no matter how hard I try, I just, mm -hmm. just, just never will be him. Him who? Him who? Him Superman. Oh. Now, I can't help the fact that you seem to think that you love him. That's just something I'm going to have to live with. But darn it, Lois, now that's enough now. Maybe I just can't stand the competition anymore. And just maybe you've been the competition all along, huh? Lois, I've never been particularly good at riddles. Let me make this one really easy for you. Why, with thousands of children potentially falling off something lethal all around the world, would Superman be in Niagara Falls today? Why wouldn't he be in the Grand Canyon? Why don't you ask the child's family? I'm sure they would know. And why is it always when I'm with you until Superman appears? And then you seem to disappear. Well, Very I, conveniently, I, it I, seems to I, me. I hot dogs. Or Pete, take your uh -huh. And when Superman appeared, I looked over at that hot dog stand and you were gone. You weren't there. I, I was... Nowhere. I can't help it if I had to go to the... You are Superman, aren't you? <laughs> Lois, look, we've been through these hallucinations of yours before. Can't you see what you almost did? <laughs> Throwing yourself off a building 30 stories off? Can't you see what a tragic mistake you almost made? I made a mistake. I made a mistake because I risked my life instead of yours. Lois, don't, don't be insane. And don't fall down, because you're just going to have to get up again. No, Lois, no, don't, don't be crazy now. What? for the longest time. You realize, of course, if you'd been wrong, Clark Kent would have been killed. With a blank? Gotcha. <laughs> 